Hey everyone, Creatively Kara here and welcome to my creative journey. Today I'm going to do a follow-up to the Boss Personal Planner video that I made a little while ago. I had a lot of you ask some really great questions and I wanted to be able to make another video to answer those because it's not very easy to answer those in a response. So I'm sorry if it's a little delayed getting back to you but I'm happy to be here and making this video to share some more tips on how you can plan digitally. So let's go ahead and get into it. So today I'm going to be sharing some tips when it comes to digital planning and I'm going to be using the Boss Personal Planner that I set up in my previous video. So if you have not seen my previous video, I recommend you check that out first. But in this video, I want to cover a few tips for you, including how to add the notebook into GoodNotes and how to kind of get things set up. Then we'll cover how you can duplicate a weekly setup. If you like what you end up putting, how do you copy and paste that so you don't have to recreate it every week. And then also I'll go over how to use stickers. All of these colored items are technically digital stickers and I will show you how you can kind of use sticker books as well as just copy and paste those onto the page. Then last but not least, I'll kind of go over how I would use this planner for multiple purposes like budgeting and schoolwork, housework, planning out meals, your fitness. This is not technically an all-in-one planner, but I think that there's ways that you could include that in here. So I'll show you how I would basically interpret that. If you would like to see more content regarding digital planning from me, let me know in the comments below. I'm actually interested in creating my own planner because I am so picky that I want to make sure it has exactly what I need in it and even creating my own stickers. So again, let me know in the comments below. I would be happy to start creating that if you are all interested as well. All right, so let's dive into these tips then. So first off, let's talk about how you can import a notebook. To begin, you're going to want to download the GoodNotes app. It does cost a little bit, but it's not very expensive. I think it was like $5 for me. Now you may need to open up the GoodNotes app and set things up first before you can import anything. So make sure you open up the GoodNotes app. Whatever folder you ended up putting it in, access your files, and then you can just click on the item itself. So here I'm actually going to open up, this is a digital bullet journal that I made for myself that I ended up using in May. Um, so I really liked this. I had an index and it has clickable links as well. But what you can do is click on the little open tab and then you'll come down here to find open in GoodNotes. When you click on that, it's going to ask you some prompts. I'm going to open it here. Now this will pop up and you can choose to import it to the current document. So basically you would paste this notebook into the notebook that I currently have open. That is not what we want. So what you wanna do is import as a new document and then import two documents. Once you've done that, you now will have your bullet journal in here. And so again, this is my bullet journal and it does have clickable links that takes a minute to load, but I am able to click on these links and it will take me to the page. So that is how you import a document now let's get back to the Boss Personal Planner. Now that we've imported a document, how can we duplicate this weekly spread so that I can put it on this page? Well, let's go ahead and get out of our clicking mode. I just wanna be able to capture everything and you'll see I've now captured all of the stickers. And so from there, I'll tap on it and then I can copy and then find the page you want, tap and hold, tap and hold, and then click paste. And now obviously it's not going to paste exactly where you want it. So um, before you exit out of the lasso tool, make sure you line it up exactly where you want it. Click on like the pen tool or something to cancel out the lasso. Now you have the weekly copy and pasted, and so I have it on two pages. This is something you might wanna do before you do handwriting on it. However, if you do forget to copy and paste it before you write all over it, the lasso tool does allow you to select what you wanna select. So I would basically turn off handwriting, and then I would do the same process again. So just come through and grab all of the items. I'll do copy, oops. Yeah, be careful of that. You don't want to slide that out of the way. And I'll come to a new weekly page 
and tap and hold again and paste. And now you can see that I don't have any of that handwriting on there. So super helpful in that situation if you um, forget to copy and paste things before you start writing all over it. All right, one of my favorite topics is digital stickers. Digital stickers are so much fun, but how do you use them? Well, there's a few different ways you can go about it. And I did kind of show this in the plan with me video, but basically you can come in here. So this is a photo that I had drawn and I could just leave this as is to put in here if I like it that way. You can also um, click on one of these boxes and do crop. And then I can do rock rectangle crop or I can kind of make it more of a messy cutout. And then I've got this sort of cute girl I can put wherever I see fit. Now, if you have more of a digital sticker book, which I know a lot of people who get into digital planning do have, and I've kind of started my own here. This one's my sticker book. And you can see I've started labeling things so that I can easily access wherever I want to go. And I can always tap here to go back. And now all of these I have put on here so that I just have to do a little, little crop and it's movable, okay? And you'll see that there's another like little washi tape up here. So if I were to capture both of those, I'd be able to move both of those. And kind of similar to how we copy and pasted the weekly setup. If these are the two items that I want, I would just do that, copy, and then I would pop back over to here and paste. And then I have those in there. And then you can just keep popping back and forth between these until you've picked out all of the stickers that you want. And again, you can resize it. I could even crop this if there was something I didn't want, but that's how you will copy and paste. Initially, a lot of these end up being just one giant sticker sheet. So you'll see that I only selected these banners, but they're all one. And that's because this this was imported as an, a, a full PNG itself. So if you want to kind of make your own sticker book like that, you would have to actually like crop each of these out individually. Yes, it is a little bit of a process. So that's not super fun. But if you buy stickers from someone, the original creator already made them individual PNGs. That means I actually imported this file as a GoodNotes file. Now you'll find some artists on Etsy have them set up that way where you just basically have to import the document as we did with the notebook into GoodNotes like this and then you can just grab the image itself. Now you also might run into situations where like this one I think. This one I imported but it's all one image and that's not super easy. So you can't just copy and paste them in that sense. You have to actually go in and crop them out individually. So uh, sometimes this can be a bit of a process. If you want, you can leave it that way and only come in to grab what you need when you need it. But if you use these frequently, I would recommend going through and pre-cropping them all out yourself and kind of putting them into your own little digital sticker book. So it sort of just depends on what you want to do there. See, now I have gluten-free. That's basically how stickers work. Let me know if you have any other questions about that. I'll probably make a follow-up video going into more depth of how to use stickers, how to download them, how to add them, making your own sticker book, um, just because I know that that can be a lot and a lot of people end up liking using sticker books when it comes to digital planning. Last but not least, let's talk about how we can utilize this single planner for multiple purposes. Again, this planner is not necessarily designed to do budgeting and fitness and all of that. I know that Boss Personal Planner has specific planners for fitness and budgeting. So technically, you know, if you wanted to, you could have multiple planners all in here. Um, like I have my sticker book with my Boss Personal Planner and then, you know, this book is my journal. So like I write down my journal entries in it. So you can have multiple planners in here. Of course, that may still not be ideal for you and you really just want everything all in one. That's okay. You can do that too. Just make sure you're finding the right planner that meets all of your needs, essentially. So this planner has a lot of different options when it comes to looking at the monthly, weekly, daily views. So monthly, um, we look at it here and then when you click on it, you can go here. So here was my monthly planning. Now here you can really put whatever you want. Um, you know, if you have special events going on, I probably would do this as your big picture uh, place to put things. 
And then when it comes to the weeks, here you'd probably just wanna put down any key notes that you have. It's kinda of hard to write a lot down in these little spaces. So when we look at the weekly page, uh, it starts off with this last week's review, goals and notes. So here, if you wanted to put down any like fitness goals or financial goals, this would be the place to do it. Um, then you can also include any notes in there. Now when you slide next, then it will take you to the next page for that week. And here is obviously where you can do your weekly planning, put your tasks, all of that. Perhaps you want to record your weekly workouts here, what your plan is. Or if you want, you could use the weekly planning to be your meal planner. So I would utilize this page to be my weekly, my like weekly meal planning. So I'm going to delete all of these items because I just don't want them on there right now. I'm probably just going to do some handwriting because it'll be easier um, to do that here. So what I would do is in this view, I would definitely do my meal planning. So I might do breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then I would write down what the plan is to have for those. Now you might also have room on here to write down what your workout plan is as well. Um, you know, you could write it up at the top line. This is what I did for the daily planning. And you can see that I just put a new thing here for goals. And then instead of extra goals, I guess I never crossed that out or anything. You could take, um, you could take white and just kind of draw over that so that it disappears. Ta -da. See, now it's not even there. So here is actually where I was recording breakfast, lunch, dinner. And then I was also including a place to do workout. You can have your daily schedule here lots of functionality just within the daily page itself, which is probably where I would store a lot of the tracking that I need to be doing. And you can see that it's pretty easy to flip around between these pages to find what you need to find. So definitely worth it in that case. And then um, this page is the next page for this day. It gives you space to write. So, you know, you could write in here, uh, it, if you are trying to heavily track your food, you can write down the food you ate, how it made you feel, you know, if that's the kind of tracking you want to do. Now, when it comes to financial planning, again, this one's not very set up for that. But what I would recommend doing, if you have a budget page that you like or that you find or that you've made, you could easily add that in right after one of these pages. So to do that, we're just gonna go into this button here and we're gonna do add image, import, boom, we have it in here. Now it will look a little funny because we won't have access to all the tabs, but that's a good easy way for you to utilize this planner and also still have an expense tracker in your digital planner here. So that's probably what I would recommend for the most efficient process. That way it's still pretty easy to find. And again, you can always bookmark items so that they are easy to find when you click on that icon. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video today. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that like button down below. And if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. Until next time, bye-bye.